YouTube. Uh, again, update again, like I said I would. Um, high gear time. Time to show off some stuff. And I realized that I started building more stuff than I was filming stuff, so taking a little break now to show you guys what I've got so far and how I did it and stuff. Um, chest plate is done. Some modifications still need to be made to the straps and such because they still... it's quite loose there, but other than that, yes, these are done. So, just take that off. But yeah, um, so they haven't shrank yet, so my theory that from the last video is yes, I did pull this off too, too soon after molding it. So I just left it on the mold overnight with a tire on it and something else heavy uh, to help add weight to it. Um, moving on, um, so the chest piece, the entire torso is um, virtually done. I still have to do the um, neck guard that goes on the back and goes down the back. But I got the, the front done and I got the back done. Um, fairly simple. This one I just cut out. Um, I trimmed down the top so I can put it attached to the front. Um, my plan is when I put this to the chest plate, I'm not going to glue it on. I'm just going to leave it some room so it's not going to completely bend but it'll give some. So when I'm wearing it I can actually move instead of feel like a robot, you know. And as for the back piece, again I did the same thing only this time uh, to help it fit underneath without feeling something digging into my back. But I cut out the slab of foam, I cut out entirely this center triangle, and from that center triangle I cut out, I cut out the detail parts, and on the back I just glued uh, some of that fun craft funs foam that I had lying around. So I just put that on the back and glued that on there, and that's how I got that nice detail work. However, that blackness may disappear when I um, paint all this, but that's okay. But um, like I said, and this will go on the back, something like that, but, but yeah, torso is out of the way, I'm now working on the neck guard I have here, <clears throat> so, made my little drawings, in fact, when I was at work today, I made a lot of drawings, but how I'm going to go about doing this. First of all though, I got this done. So when I wear my chest armor, of course this goes on here, and these parts I'm going to have attached with a loop and some velcro to up here. So when I'm wearing it, of course, you know, just like the Mass Effect armor, it'll go attach like this. I'm going to cover this up with some of the fun foam uh, after I get um, a buckle of some sort or a loop to uh, help attach that to. Uh, other than that, that's what I'm working on. I have my lines here. Again, um, I'm going to do the same thing I did to this, to here, because um, as you can see in my little drawing here, the back is um, ribbed again with a design similar to this, only they go down. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do cut this out and then cut those little detail parts in, attach fun foam to the back, and glue those back in. So I have that nice detailed layer without much effort. Um, as for the glowy portions of the back piece, I have that covered. Um, I would recommend going to crazy... it's either called crazywire.com or crazylights.com. Um, it's where they sell EL wire. Now, it, it's a short term for what it's really called, electrical something something something. The word is too big for my IQ. But uh, it's fun wire, it's like a little strip, like a little pinstripe strip that you can flex and bend and whatever and do with it. And it still glows, amazingly. But I didn't do that. Um, around Halloween I saw an outfit at Walmart. Uh, it was a costume that looked like this. A light up costume and it only cost me like 10 bucks because it was half off when I bought it. Um, and I was like, oh well, I can just do that and rip the wire off. Well, <clears throat> four hours later, whoop, I detached all of the wire from it. 
like I said, just go to crazywire.com and buy it. It's only like 30 bucks. Um, on Amazon, I think you can find one for with a battery attachment for uh, 25 bucks, as I saw on Amazon, like I said. But I found this for 10 bucks, and the labor I put into cutting it apart is fine. But it does light up. But that's what I have going on. I'm going for a walk. Don't All right. Me. Don't let me out. I will lock you out. Everybody say hi to my roommate. Bye. All right. Bye. But yeah, so it lights up, it has a, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has solid, it has a fast strobe, and it has a slow strobe. So, for 10 bucks, I thought it was okay. And it comes with three separate wire parts to it, which made it a lot more easier in my brain to figure out how I'm going to do the back piece of the lights. So that's what I have that done. Um, when I get to the lighting part, um, I will show a video of how I'm going to do that. Um, I already have a bunch of drawings and diagrams written out about how I'm going to do it. However, writing it down and actually doing it is two different things, so it will be a venture. And we love adventures, don't we? No, we don't. But yeah, so I'm going to get back to work um, and finish the back part. Because once I get this done, I can start attaching it to my back piece, and then I can attach the front V and the back V. Alright. I'm going to stop talking and get back to work. This is Adara, also known as Kanius, signing off for the night. Good night, YouTube. <laughs>